I'm uh, close with this wonderful writer and activist, Joanna Macy, M-A-C-Y. She has a wonderful book, many wonderful books, but a recent one she revised at 93, she's now 94, called Active Hope, which she wrote with a colleague. And um, so Joanna was saying to me the other day, many of the people that she is a, a guide for, a mentor to, um, are burning out, that the world is doing so hard, they're burning out. And and she's wondering, you know, how she can support them. And I said to Joanna that in the nervous system, if you see the things going on in the world as threats, which is totally understandable, we would, whether it's racism and violence or polarization, political polarization, or the climate disasters that are happening, it's understandable. Your brain would see them as threats. But if you stay with the threat state, your brain's going to activate what's called a reactivity mode, which is fighting, fleeing, freezing, fainting, and in, in more higher levels of the brain, even fawning, trying to just keep things good with the person who's hurting you. Um, so I said to Joanna, I said, you cannot sustain the threat mode in a reactive state for long periods of time. You will burn out. That is the source of burnout. So I said, instead, it is possible to use awareness and choose with intention to look at these situations in the world as challenges, not threats. Now, serious challenges? Yes, absolutely. Challenges worthy of putting our energy into? Absolutely. So we're not trying to minimize them. We're reframing them. Why? Because as people with the courage to care who are out in the world, just literally with compassion for what's going on, then what this shift to a challenge mindset does is it allows you to see the events that happen as essentially dance partners in a duet that you're going to do. And when I take on this challenge mindset, because sometimes I forget that and I feel a threat and I feel overwhelmed, I start feeling burnt out and I do the wheel of awareness, I get back to this place of joy and connection. And, and then I realize it is my responsibility as an awake citizen on earth to ask questions, but to even ask questions about my mindset. So if I can then switch to a challenge mindset, then it's like I wake up and say, what's the music of today? What's the dance I'm going to do? Who's my dance partner? The challenge that before I might have been interpreting as a threat, but now I see it as a dance partner. And I say, bring it on. Bring it on. 